Here we have a piece of magnesium, a piece of zinc, some iron filings and a piece of copper. These are the solutions, magnesium sulfate, zinc sulfate, iron chloride and copper sulfate. We've tried to use a similar quantity of metal for each well and we'll try and use a sim uh, similar quantity of solution in each well. You may notice that iron chloride is not iron sulfate. Uh, ideally we should use the same, uh, the same salt solution uh, for each well. Some of these reactions will be fast, some of them will be slow and some of them will not react at all. When you have magnesium and magnesium sulfate you would not expect any reaction to occur. A sign of a chemical reaction in this case is normally a colour change. That can be a colour change on the piece of metal or a colour change in the solution. Sometimes you may see physic. In some of the sample wells, effervescence can be observed. On the reverse of the magnesium piece, black zinc solid can be seen to have formed. A red-brown solid can be observed forming on the surface of the iron powder indicating the formation of copper metal. Note how the magnesium iron chloride well has darkened considerably compared to just iron chloride on its own. In addition, the color of the copper sulfate sample has become paler when displacement has occurred 